Hurricane Ida slammed into the Northeast, leaving a thousand mile trail of death and destruction. At least 45 people are dead from Maryland to New York, and the property damage has been described as catastrophic. WGN's Mike Lowe joining us now with more on that. Mike. Mike and Ray, and even tonight, Chicago workers are on the road to the East Coast. They are heading there to help the region clean up and restore power tonight. We are hearing the devastating stories, though, of the victims who lost their lives while trapped by the rising floodwaters last night. I don't know what will I do. There is a feeling of helplessness across the East Coast tonight. New York officials say at least a dozen people died when floodwaters surged into basement apartments. This cell phone video shows water rushing toward a building with such force it burst through a wall. A mother and son were trapped inside of that apartment and died. Their neighbor narrowly escaped when her landlord pulled her to safety. Her life saved. Everything else lost. How will I survive? What, where will I go? The remnants of Hurricane Ida slammed the East Coast, spawning tornadoes, sending rivers surging and causing damage nearly everywhere. New York Governor Kathy Hochul declared a state of emergency. It was an unbelievable amount of rainfall in an incredibly short amount of time. Authorities say at least 23 people died in New Jersey and at least five in Pennsylvania. In Connecticut, a state trooper died after his cruiser was swept away. He was identified tonight as State Police Sergeant Brian Mole. In Maryland, one death was reported. This destruction is everywhere. And it's a matter of life and death and we're all in this together. Meantime, in Washington, President Joe Biden assured the Northeast that federal first responders were on the ground and ready to help. He also warned that increasingly destructive storms are a result of climate change. These extreme storms and the climate crisis, crisis are here. We need to do, be much better prepared. We need to act. This is one of the great challenges of our time. ComEd trucks rolled out from Chicago this afternoon. 150 workers from Illinois are on their way to the East Coast to help restore power to the region. We were ready to help, ready to support our sister utilities and support the East Coast. And those Chicago ComEd workers are expected to be in Philadelphia over the next several days working, Micah and Ray, to repair those damaged power lines. All right, All right. Mike, thank you.